If you're being cheated on, you want to get out of this really quickly. There's three main steps that you have to do. And I know because I work with over 2,000 guys in the Betrayed to Badass coaching program, the one that I created. My name is Ed Baxter. The first thing you got to do is you got to gain emotional self-control. You cannot be going around and reacting to everything she's doing. It shows that you are weak and that you have no life outside of what's going on in this situation. It'll affect your children. It's going to affect your job. It's going to affect your emotional well-being. And a lot of guys get driven to the point of suicide. You can't let yourself get to this point. It's absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous, and this is a temporary state. So we got to get you your emotional self-control as soon as possible. Then you have to start thinking about how the hell this happened. How did you get into this situation to begin with? So you can prevent it in the future and stop looking at her to give you this ever never ending moving goalpost of what you did wrong, because it's not going to be true. She's going to use that to leverage everything against you. She's going to make you feel like you are at fault 100% of the time. When the fact is, is that usually there's at least 50% fault with what's going on here and hundred percent fault her decision to actually cheat on you. And you've got to start creating an amazing future. Start getting excited about the future. You know, you could use this pain of this experience to push you forward up to a point. But then after a while, you're going to have to start getting excited about a future that you can go towards. Most guys are so upset about the divorce or the, that his wife cheating on because he feels like he has this investment, this thing that he built and created with her for years and years and years. And he doesn't want to give that up because he doesn't have a backup plan. He doesn't think that he has attractive value out in the marketplace. And he doesn't think that he can find another woman as good as she was, which is ironic because she wasn't that good to begin with because she was cheating on him. But that's how it is. That's how you feel. The guy takes it personally. It feels like he failed on some level and on some level he did fail, but on another level, she failed massively too. And we have to put things in the proper perspective and ensure that that's the way it's categorized in your head so you don't blame yourself not necessarily. Part three is get clear how to get out of this place. Like what can you do to protect yourself legally, financially, with your custody and these type of things and to have an emotional support network. Once you get those things down, you get really clear on it, then you can actually start moving forward really quickly. It only takes a couple of weeks in the program, Betrayed to Badass, to really get your head out of the clouds and really I was gonna say get your head out of your but get your head out of the clouds because I know that you're not trying to do that absolutely but if you want more information find me my name is Ed Baxter and you'll find me at genuineattraction.com peace brother